Live Golf's $100 M man Cameron Smith wins his first tournament of the Saudi-backed tour, as he seals three-shot victory in Chicago before calling for decision to be made on whether Rebels will receive world ranking points soon. Cameron Smith, who claimed his maiden Live Golf victory on Sunday, said a decision on whether he and other competitors on the Saudi Arabia-backed series will receive world rankings points needs to be made soon. Live Golf, which held its fifth event this week in Chicago, applied for recognition in golf's world rankings which play a key role in deciding entry into golf's four majors in July and their file remains under review. Smith was one of 12 major champions in the 48-player Live Golf field this week at Rich Harvest Farms where he secured a three-shot win. I suppose there's a lot on the line with the ranking points, getting into majors stuff like that Smith, who earned exemption into golf's four majors for at least the next five years with his win at the British Open in July. There needs to be a resolution. Quite soon, I think. The field here is strong enough and deep enough to where it warrants that, and hopefully it's soon. Live Golf has lured players away from the PIGA tour, with staggering sums of money, but the financial windfall could come at a cost for those still looking to compete in the Masters, PIGA Championship, US Open and British Open. Organizers of the majors have not changed their qualifying rules but Smith, who earned $4 million for his Live Golf win, and is ranked third in the world, could one day find himself on the outside looking in as for now, he can no longer earn world ranking points. Organizers of the majors have not changed their qualifying rules but Smith, who earned $4 million for his Live Golf win, and is ranked third in the world, could one day find himself on the outside looking in as for now, he can no longer earn world ranking points.